what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be my last video for scream 7 today and tomorrow because i won't have any type of access to my equipment all day mostly since it's thanksgiving hope all of you enjoy your day tomorrow with your family friends however you spend it but from variety today tonight scream 7 faces full creative reboot after losing jenna ortega nev campbell and patrick dempsey on the wish list an exclusive report that just broke now keep in mind what did i just say about the alleged plot details you would have and i was hyping it up a little bit in some other prior videos sydney and kincaid were already a part of the story that was in place that would have been split with their story and then you would have had the core four story you're not going to get that anymore i would assume but that makes sense why they would be part of the wish list anyway because they were already a part of the story to begin with i'm also going to touch on the stars who who apparently have deals in place according to another reputable person who has their own their own commitments to these reputable outlets but Variety, going over this article, starts off saying not even Ghostface could see this twist coming. The Scream franchise lost two stars this week, putting the seventh film in the series in creative conundrum, according to sources familiar with the project. Variety bro broke the news that Melissa Barrera was fired by Spyglass, the film's producers, in recent days over social media messages that deemed it to be anti-Semitic. The decision was made after the company was notified that Jenna Ortega, whose star has risen considerably since she joined the beloved Wars Craven Horror series, would not return due to a scheduling conflict with the second season of her smash Netflix hit show Wednesday. Uh, Barrera and Ortega played sisters in the films. Now, what's interesting there is they're citing the fact that this decision to let go of Barrera ultimately came after word got to them that jenna would not be back because of her scheduling conflicts but then it goes on to say backlash to barrera's ouster has been intense with the film's director christopher landon reacting to the events surrounding her exit he posted and deleted a statement on x on tuesday that read everything sucks stop yelling this is not my decision to make it seems some fans like the planned sequel was collapsing in real time However, even before Barrera was fired, plans for the next screen were being retooled. Ortega's exit had required the creative team to make some alterations according to individuals with knowledge, but there were still hopes that the actress might be convinced to come back for some sort of cameo that no longer seems to be in the cards. Another source familiar with the franchise disputed this, saying Ortega was never in the mix for the new film. Now, Here's the part where it gets interesting because I, I was telling people this. Everybody, not, not everybody was doing this, but there were some people who were like, oh, well, we don't know who's writing Scream 7. It says here, James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick, the writers of the previous two Scream installments, will now work on a fresh draft to present to filmmakers. So who do you think wrote the other draft? It was them. <laughs> Now, it goes on to also say some set pieces and twists may be preserved, but the movie will need to find new protagonists. Ortega and Barrera signed off for two screen movies and fulfilled those obligations with installments five and six. Another source noted they would have needed to sign new deals for the seventh chapter. So who will have to do battle with the mass killer? Or so who will have to do battle with the mass killer? The screen movies have a bench of characters who are still alive or could be reanimated. Uh, these include Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox, the original stars of the series. Producers are keen to see Nev Campbell reclaim her iconic or reclaim her role as the iconic character Sidney Prescott. Another possibility could be Patrick Dempsey, who had a scene stealing scene stealing turn in 2000 Scream 3. None of these actors have been in active negotiations thus far. The hope had been for Scream 7 to hit theaters in 2025. Although the producers are essentially starting from scratch, that release date will still seems feasible if Landon and the writers can find another scary story to tell. Now these are the stars that are apparently have deals in place. Eric Goldman, who is associated or managing editor for Fandom, put out this tweet over like a quote tweet in response to Variety, saying basically everything you'd expect in terms of we got to figure shit out because of studio fuck ups. No one has a deal for the movie currently except Jasmine Savoy Brown and Mason Gooding. So here's my response to that. Like I said before. People are still going to do this movie. You know why? Because, again, to a lot of people at the end of the day, this is a profession. Some people are going to harass them. They already know that. But the thing about it is they should not be concerned about those people that are harassing them. I wish them the best of luck. You should be concerned about are you in, are you being supported by Melissa and Jenna to keep things going? If they have given you 
the go ahead and you feel content with that that's all that matters the stuff online from fans and people who don't know you guys personally that stuff doesn't matter if melissa and jenna want mason and jasmine to hold the line and represent the core four and we get a story centered around sydney prescott her family and her husband and Gail Weathers, Kirby Reed, and all of them can come back, and Mason and Jasmine hold it down, representing the core four story that was established in five and six, and Melissa and Jenna are supporting them in doing that, that's all the confidence I hope they can they can stomach that would convince them to do the project. If Melissa and Jenna are in support of everyone still doing the project, let's get them all together. All of this other grandstanding and stuff, that's not that's not going to be relevant. It has nothing to do with the filmmaking process. And I wouldn't be shocked if reasonable people like Melissa and Jenna, because both of them seem to be very reasonable. I wouldn't be shocked if they are in full support of their co-stars coming together and doing the movie and not looking at them some type of way. And or even if they do not make, making some big fuss about it online, the way I know that people are going to start heckling people who sign on to this project. The grandstanding, like I've stated, it has to stop. It has to stop. This has nothing to do with making a movie. The movie is not going to resolve anything. And if Melissa and Jenna are again in support of their co-stars, let's get them on. Let's do a story. If you can come up with something and if you're able to successfully convince Nev to come on, a lot of people are going to celebrate it anyway. But at the end of the day, you know, if you're very upset about what has happened and what has transpired, you have to speak about it. Not with outrage like this, but by simply just not showing up to the box office. That is what speaks to these people. They understand dollars. You don't show up. They see that, okay, they don't like our shit. You're done. The Scream franchise will be done. And look at it this way. If Scream 7 is the final nail in the coffin because people collectively decide, hey, we don't want to turn out for this because we're against what happened with Melissa. We don't want to see it without Melissa and we don't like how you handled Melissa. If that's what happens and it flops... If Scream 7 is still something that is creatively successful and a solid cap off to the franchise, I would be fine. I think that the franchise should stop after 7 anyway, so we'll just have to see how all of this plays out. But yeah, they basically confirmed what Viewer Non was stating earlier yesterday even. What I was stating, I had heard, because I had actually heard this earlier today, and then the news report came out today from Variety backing up the fact that, yes, we are in a full rehaul state, and I don't think you're going to get a full reboot. You should just be getting something that is obviously continuing the story, but shifting focus back to Sydney Prescott, hopefully, if Nev is convinced to return. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.